Murder Mystery. I would probably say one of the most iconic Roblox games of all time. Now, for the two people in here who don't know what Murder Mystery is, basically, there's 12 people that get put into a game, and out of those 12 people, one of them get picked to be the murderer and another the sheriff. The goal for the murderer is to kill everybody without anyone knowing, and the goal for the innocents and the sheriff is to find the murderer. And I'm going to be doing that for 100 games. And now I'm dead. Game 2 had already gotten me off to a rough start after I was brutally executed for no reason game three had the same outcome because some random lady started chasing after me with her ice knife but i promise you it it gets better game four i was innocent you know as expected and since i had died first the last three games i thought i would go hide in the truck so i could get at least some chance of survival while i'm trying to close the truck door though i end up hearing a stab and when i try walking out i see cat lady go by me and then unironically cat man is just there dead on the floor so i end up running back into the truck and you know hiding for my life i tried using shift lock so i could see if anything was outside but you know there was really nothing going on until cat lady comes out of nowhere and acts like she's not holding a knife just walking around aimlessly she does end up coming back though and when she does the sheriff tries to shoot her and misses very poorly the sheriff starts to chase after her and while that's happening i get out of the truck so i could follow the action and follow the sheriff in case she dies so i can get the gun I tried notifying the sheriff that the murderer is right there, but, you know, she walks away. The sheriff was shooting shots, the murderer was throwing knives, and I don't know what she's doing here. Right before I'm about to get a knife thrown at me, the sheriff ends up shooting the murderer, and, you know, we win! We win game four! Game five, I was surprisingly murderer. I don't I don't know how either, but regardless of that, I was ready to win. I picked the ghost spurt because it's the easiest to use, and I started stabbing people immediately. For the first game as murderer, I was not trying to lose this, so instead of keeping it secret like you're supposed to do, I ended up just going all out on everybody. What the- I saw Catman reincarnated from last game, so I thought I would use my ghost powers, but I realized it was going to take too long, so I ended up turning around and killing the sheriff anyway. Come here! Yeah! Oh, oh my goodness. Now that the sheriff and the cat couple are dead, I realized that this would be an easy game. I saw this girl trying to go for the gun, so I ended up using the ghost power and killing her. Boom! I told you it would get better. Game six, I immediately died. Yep. Game seven, I was sheriff, which honestly to me, I like sheriff better than murderer. I feel like in a way you have so much more power as the sheriff rather than the murderer because people like actually trust you. Like you could be around a big group of people with the gun out and they won't run away. And if you wanted to, you could just shoot somebody. You also have the power of the game because you know, you're supposed to shoot the murderer. Anyway though, besides all that yap, uh, I tried scaring this person, making them think I was the murderer, but someone ended up getting stabbed. So there goes that. I jumped down to see who it was and it was unironically cat lady out of all people i don't know how that shot did not hit but i just started running i tried shooting again and i, I, I don't know how i don't know i don't know I, I seriously do not know how these are not hitting luckily though i went for a more calculated shot and i killed her and we won the game game eight started out with someone getting executed in front of me it wasn't a nice sight to see but you know i can understand where she's coming from maybe he tried robbing her maybe <laughs> game nine i was gonna attempt the sewer only challenge it's pretty simple there's a sewer section on this map and i was just gonna stay in there the whole game I thought I was alone during it, but I had Cat Lady with me as well. Hello, Cat Lady. I heard a lot of action going on upstairs, so I figured I would use the sewer hatch to see if anything was going on. Right as I get up, though, I see this fat, ugly wannabe Toad trying to come down in with me. Toad? Toad, that's my ass. I think he thought I was AFK for some reason, and he was trying to, like, push me up. But then I couldn't tell if he was trying to, like, make me sink under in the sewer by, like, jumping on my face. Toad ended up leaving me alone, but after that, I instantly saw the murderer and the sheriff just come out fighting each other. The murderer killed the sheriff, and I dove back in my hole. The gun was right there, and I had a perfect chance to get it, but I didn't know where the murderer was. So I found a way to zoom out without her seeing me. And then she saw me. From this point on, I didn't know what to do. Cat Lady had died. Everyone else was dead. So in this moment, I told myself, the sewer challenge and I went for the gun. For some reason though, she didn't follow me outside of the sewer. So I just went for the gun and then hid in the little hole. I knew that it was only a matter of time before she came out to check on the gun. So I waited and waited until I got the perfect shot and watch this. Ready, ready, boom, boom, in the sewer, done. I win. Game 10 was great. I'm not going to lie. Uh, the game started off with me as murderer and I figured I would use the fake gun perk. It's pretty self-explanatory. So, you know, I'm not really going to explain it, but right as I was about to use it, I heard someone get shot. So everyone already knew who the sheriff was. Oh my gosh. I was so tempted to stab these people. And then out of nowhere, someone else gets shot. I could have just won the game with everyone shooting each other. All right, here we go. Picking up the gun. Now where? Wait. 
How do I have a- Duh! I found the last guy in a pool of toothpaste and it was none other than Toad. I ended up killing him and he got so scared he pulled his pants down, but yeah, that's uh, that's game 10. Game 11 started off with me trying to get under the table somehow and wait, wait, hold on. Listen to this. You hear how far away that gunshot sounds? Wait a minute, hold on. Hey, silly, you can't be having that in the lobby. You got to use it in the- Hey! Game 12, I was murderer, but I had an idea for this round. For those who don't know what this is, you need the ninja perk and the doge effect. And it basically just creates like the perfect assassination trick. I found my target to showcase it on, but the only problem is that he was outside. That didn't matter though. Yeah! So here we go. The thing about the doge effect is that it's basically broken. Um, when you kill somebody, the body just like completely disappears. And I also don't know how that girl did not see me there. Regardless of that, I followed her, trapped her inside the garage, and assassinated her. She was also the sheriff as well surprise that yeah, she okay i found cat lady as well and you know of course killed her hey cat man yeah the small lady walked inside of the bedroom unaware of what just happened and then i did the same thing to her yeah. the green man however did see and he started running for his life the problem is though he got glued to the wall so i just put him out of his misery final girl was hiding behind a music set and you already know what i did i'm not even gonna show it game 13 was an afk murderer um that's about it. Game 14, I sat in a seat and won the game. Yeah, I don't know how either. Game 15 started off pretty slow, you know, just walking around, getting inside vans, the usual. And then all of a sudden, I see this. <laughs> Catman! <laughs> the sheriff had gotten killed, and I ended up playing Ring Around the Rosie with Catman for a while. Until Catgirl sacrificed herself, luckily, and I got a good shot on Catman, and we won the game. Hooray! Game 16, I was hearing stabs instantly, and it was none other than Cat Lady herself. Right after that moment, I was basically frozen in fear. I don't know how we were going to survive this. I felt like the world was about to end. Everything... <laughs> Game 17, I was murderer, which I was very excited for, and I figured I would use the x-ray effect. Right away, I used it to see who the closest person was near me, but I lost them and ended up finding the sheriff instead. I snuck away from him and hid in a little cupboard, and I figured I would go for the best trick shot ever. I, I don't even know where the knife went. Well, luckily, I'm behind this wall, and no one knows it's me still. My plan was basically ruined, but I figured I would go for one last shot. That missed completely. Come on, fight me! Game 18, I witnessed an execution for the 18th time, and for some reason, when the sheriff and murderer were fighting, the murderer ran right past the sheriff and tried attacking me. I don't know what I deserved to do this, but the sheriff ended up getting what she deserved and was shot and killed. Game 19 was probably the most annoying game of murder mystery I've ever played. To start off, I got murderer again and ended up getting a revenge on the guy who killed me two rounds ago when I was previously murderer. And then I end up getting a good throw on the sheriff, which you would think it's off to a great start, right? Wrong. It's all downhill from here. After this, some fat, sweaty idiot got the gun and for like, I'm not even joking, like a minute straight. There are so many occur- I'm showing you all of them right now. There are so many occurrences where she should have died. It took like, it took actually a minute. Most of the game was me chasing after this woman. And after I do kill her, some other girl gets the gun and just watch this, watch. I'm not even gonna talk. How am I supposed to know that she's right there? That's so dumb. Game four instantly started off with some guy throwing knives everywhere. And this is where majority of the game takes place. Just us hiding behind a wall while the guy just aimlessly throws knives. This loop went on for a while and no one could land a shot on each other until red man comes out of nowhere and takes a sacrifice. And then green lady is like bang and shoots him dead. We win. And then we all had a dance party. Game 21 starts off with me as murderer again. I don't know how. I thought I would use the slate perk because one, it's pretty fun, and two, I haven't used it in a very long time. I wanted this to be my redemption round, so I figured I would play it safe, but also a little bit aggressive. So I started off by assassinating that bacon hair over there, and the bacon girl knew, but, you know, I just chased her down and stabbed her too. Game 21 started out pretty good. You know, I felt confident. I had a feeling I- Welcome to game 22. Luckily, though, I was a sheriff. You know, I really wanted to play this round safe. Um, it was pretty good. You know, I heard a stab, walked over to it, and f***ing died! Again! Game 23, I was sheriff. I don't know how either, but, you know, I'll take it. Started off chilling with this guy outside until I realized what he was trying to do to me. And I thought about shooting him, and right as I was about to, I heard a stab. So, we both walked over to it. I didn't know if it was upstairs or downstairs, but, you know, we took a wild guess and- OH MY GOD! Oh, 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 no, not dying. I'm not dying. No, I'm not. 
God damn it! Game 24 started off with a bunch of stabs, so I quickly got in the van, as usual. And I was about to try to close it, but he comes out of nowhere. I tried I tried saying no, but, you know, he didn't take no for an answer. Game 25, I was sheriff again, which I was very excited about. And it didn't last that long, but I didn't lose. Well, I, I died, but, you know, she died too, so I basically won. Sheriff again! Jeez. I told myself this round that I was not going to go near anybody at all until people started stabbing. I waited it out until I started seeing the orange blonde girl stabbing people out of nowhere. There was an easy shot on her, but this guy was in the way, so he had to get sacrificed. And when he did, I missed the shot, of course. I dodged the knife throw, luckily, though, and I dodged the second throw. Just kidding. Game 27, I was innocent, finally. I was actually kind of glad I was innocent, because, you know, the game wasn't in my hands at all. I just got to watch everything, which I'm pretty glad I was able to do. I hear some stabs, which is, you know, pretty usual every start of the round, so I go outside to see what's happening. Turns out, instead of knives, it's some guy throwing bats everywhere. The round had almost ended for me when the guy threw the bat, and I almost got hit, so I went inside, and I thought he was chasing after me, but, you know, luckily he wasn't. So I go back outside, try to go get the gun, and some girl already got it, which you would think if somebody has the gun and the murderer is right there, they would try to shoot, right? No, she didn't. The whole time I was running from the murderer, this girl, the girl right there, she shot once when I was still alive. And then when I die right in front of her, she still isn't shooting. I don't know if it's just some random thing, but it just annoyed the hell out of me. The fact that she didn't do anything when I was still alive. Game 28 began with some guy getting thrown down an elevator, which is pretty, pretty bad. I try going over to the sheriff so I can get some guidance on where to go. And if she dies, which she does, she gets obliterated. I try going for the gun, and I am killed. Dead. Game 29, we're on the best map in the game, and I'm Sheriff! Right away, my life flashed before my eyes, because I couldn't tell if this guy had a knife or it was a part of his skin. Either way, I kept my distance from him and just went in the vents. I go into the vault, and I hear the metal detector and a stab, so I walk outside of the vault, and I see this. Um, I don't know if he was admiring the body or something, but either way, I just put him out of his misery. Game 30 was probably the weirdest game of murder mystery I've ever played. I don't know why, but it starts out with me staring at this guy's shirt for like 20 seconds straight. And then when I walk outside, I see this. I don't know what's going on in this game, but I turned the corner and I was frightened by this pale buff dude. I thought I had had enough by this point, and I look in chat and I see, how do I kill? And what do you know? It's none other than the guy with the cool shirt. Are you mad? So here we go, he tricked everyone, he's killing everyone, I end up getting the gun, and this battle lasts for literally the entire rest of the game. I try shooting him a couple of times, but I can't get him. It seemed like his cool shirt was blocking all of the shots, he was pretty much invincible at this point. And then I end up dying a horrible death in a closet. By this point, I was innocent less than anything else in the game, so I tested my chances and got the fake gun. And then I spent the entire first quarter of the game following the guy with the cool shirt who killed me last game. My initial plan was to kill him first but you know i accidentally missed going up the stairs so i just had to go out on everybody after i finished cleaning up stairs i equipped the fake gun perk and go downstairs and surprisingly the girl that the guy was with going upstairs does not realize that the murderer is in front of her uh where is this murderer come on <laughs> you too <laughs> after all that was settled i go to kill the yellow man and the sheriff just pops out of nowhere but i kill him pretty easily and then i follow the yellow man around the house and we play a little bit of ring around the rosy he, he completely misses the gun and and I kill him. But the thing about this, here, take a look at this. I've never seen this happen before in Murder Mystery. Where is the gun? Do you see it anywhere? Where is it? I looked everywhere for the gun, and I actually could not find it. The gun is literally gone. Or is it, you know? <laughs> oh, dang it, I missed. Come on. Come on. Yeah, there we go. All right. No, where is the gun? Game Innocent, I was a 32, and I wanted to do the fridge challenge. Pretty simple. Just get in a fridge. Didn't last very long, though. Um, game 33, I was small and innocent. And right away, I see the guy with the cool shirt chasing after some lady. Luckily, though, he wasn't able to see me because I was small and innocent. Here, a stab. I see the gun. I'm going for it. And now's my time. Now's my time where I get my revenge. On the same map, too. Ready? Watch this. Oh, hold on. He, he went inside. Ready? Watch this. Boom! That... Damn it. Come on, everything you- Dad, die! Then boom, I hit the floss on you. How do you like this? Yeah, take this. Game 34 was pretty silly. I spent literally all of the game trying to get into the tube that, like, changes you into different things. And some guy joined me, but the rivalry with Shirtman continued because he killed me for no reason. I was having fun. It wouldn't- what an idiot. Game 35 was pretty chaotic due to this guy shooting for no reason, specifically at the rainbow dude. But he was just going. He wouldn't stop shooting. And then out of all, after all of that shooting, he ended up shooting the wrong guy. So I picked up the gun 
and I thought I would complete his task. It's my time to shine. Wait. Oh, oh short man! I'm here. Oh, that was easy. Game 36, I spent the little time that I had in the vents, and the only time I went out was to witness the anime dude execute somebody. I could have escaped if these fat idiots got out of the way. Game 37, I figured it was time for the bathroom challenge. Yep, just gonna sit on this toilet the whole game. Well, I was until an intruder came in, and I thought he was the murderer, so I was shaking my head no, until the actual murder came in, and look at this. I don't know how I survived this. I don't know. I was trying to shake my head no to... I don't know how. I don't know how I survived that. I got out, and I realized that I had to win this game now because of that that clutch so I keep my distance from all the action that goes on and she ends up getting shot and as you can see I'm very excited that I won this game this game ended pretty quickly that that's it that's the whole game game 39 started off with me flossing for some reason I see a guy at the back of the truck and then the door shuts and I already know what's about to happen he comes out jumping around acting like he's the victim of things and he slowly tries to start chasing after me and I notice it pretty fast. So I end up getting away from him and make a stupid mistake of hiding in the truck where he killed the same guy. He opens the door and I die. It's frozen for a reason. I don't want to show it. Wow, I am on a streak of being innocent. I notice two guys standing side by side. One pulls out the gun and other pulls out the knife. And they go for me! Like, I, I don't know what I did. I thought the showdown of a lifetime was about to happen, so I had to spectate this. And then I realized that they're teaming. Like, come on. Game 41 was probably one of the craziest games I've ever played. To start off, I was basically AFK eating. And this guy walks up to me. I kind of have suspicions that he's the murderer, so I back off a little bit. And he is, and I dodge his throwing knife by like a middle m millisecond. So now I'm running away from him while I'm eating. I go ahead, put my food down, and now I'm just running. Now we're all, we're all running. Me and Green Man both go our opposite ways, and of course, what do you know, the blind guy goes for me. I'm running through the vents, and now he's not following me. I don't know why. Me and Mr. C are hiding while everyone else is being terminated right now so there they go the anime kid and the blonde guy are now teaming well as usual i almost died right there but i survived i run upstairs now i realize that it's an endless loop and also the green dude is teaming with them as well so now it's just me and mr seal running for our lives trying to get away from the blonde guy i thought i was gonna die right here but i went through the vent and survived i realized that the only way we were gonna survive this is by letting the time run out because one of them obviously had the gun we would have found it by now we turn the corner and we see the anime guy with the gun basically pointing at us and now all three of them are following us it was a literal manhunt for me and mr seal now we're running for our lives green dude's waving at us i'm not sure why we're thinking the time's about to run out and then all of a sudden this happens and then we win. One of the craziest games I've ever played. I'm not going to lie. It was very, very unique. Game 42 is literally just a part two of 41. To start off, I see the green kid throwing knives everywhere while anime kid is just sitting on the chair. So I start running. I'm running in the basement. Mr. Steel. I figure he would turn around. So I just leave him behind. Bad mistake. And now everyone is stacked up on the wall looking over like Mission Impossible. And then the sheriff ends up dying. A horrible death and then i see the green guy say no in chat and at first i'm confused and then i look over and i see anime kid dead on the floor so now that the teamers were all dead i figured this would be the perfect opportunity to get the gun also mr seal's alive i was kidding so here we go me and mr seal we're running again just like game 41 we're going through the house mr seal ends up getting the gun and he tries shooting for a long time i was really rooting for mr seal but he ended up getting killed what i need you to do i need you to put r.i.p mr seal in the comments after that I tried swerving around a little bit to make sure he doesn't throw the knife at me. So I end up hiding behind here and I, for some reason, I don't know why, I thought he was going to turn back around. So I look back and I get killed. I was so annoyed at this. I, this was so annoying. Part three, it's time for revenge. I found green man first and... <laughs> I was gonna go try looking for blonde hair and anime kid, but they ended up shooting each other for some reason. I really thought about stabbing Mr. Seal at this moment, but then I remembered how loyal to me he was the first two parts. So I end up going back outside, and I don't know why, for some reason, I have a habit of hiding behind this wall right here. Anytime I'm murderer. I tried making a throw, and I ended up missing, and I don't know why, but for some reason, I was started shaking my head no, and then they shot me. I don't know why I tried, like, teaming up with them. Game 44, I'd start off with some stabbings already, and it was some bacon hair girl that me and green man were running from when we're done waiting for her to walk outside we go back up and we you know come outside none other than mr seal is out here carrying the team mr seal had fought but sadly he could not finish the job and he was killed once again as the sheriff i had a feeling if i went over to there i would not survive so i stayed in the red building green man ended up getting the gun and i 
almost died. Green man had gotten killed, and it was basically just me and some girl at the top of the red building. I had a really good view on her, throwing knives at everybody. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, she goes inside the red building and... Oh my gosh. Someone ends up getting the gun, and she is getting chased down. The sheriff is killed. That's three sheriffs dead. Three. It's like a juggernaut we're fighting right now. I think of a plan to go behind these containers and get the gun. She still hasn't seen me surprisingly this whole time. I go in, I get the gun, and I shoot and miss as usual. But I knew I did not want to lose this, so I had to- BOOM! Dead! Game 45, I heard a stab and obviously I went outside. And then I was targeted by blonde man. What the hell, man? And then he won! How do you let him win? Game 46, I was sheriff, which I was actually really glad for. I'm sick of the streak of being innocent. For this game, I had a plan. What I was gonna do is I was gonna go upstairs and look through the big window and see if anyone starts stabbing. Oh my gosh, guys, stop! I rush down the stairs and I get outside. I see the murderer. Boom! One shot. I win. All right, part four. Here we go. The game starts out with anime kid just slaughtering everybody. And he throws a knife at me. I end up dodging it. And he follows me into the theater. And while he's chasing after me, I see in chat, wait, don't kill him. And it was from Green Man. And I had a feeling he meant me, but I was still being chased down. So I just ran upstairs and chilled with the bacon hair on the third floor. And then anime kid said, who? Let me show you. At this point, I didn't want to be associated with teamers. So I tried hiding on some like shelf in the kitchen area on the third floor. For some reason, I like flicked myself off the table and he saw me. I kept my distance from anime kid cause I'll be honest, he did look a little intimidating. And then green guy said, him, don't kill them. Which, I, that doesn't really make any sense, but you get the point. So, Anime Kid got the jizz of things, and he went on stabbing everybody else in the server. And then for the rest of the game, we just kind of, like, chilled out, I guess? And then the game ended, and everyone won, so, um... Enemies to lovers, I guess? Game 48 was disgustingly horrible. I walked around for two minutes and was the first to die. Game 49 is lost footage. I'm dead serious, I don't know what happened to it. In honor of game 50, I thought I would play some Assassin. For the people in here who don't know what Assassin is, it's an alternative version of Murder Mystery where everyone gets a target, but you don't actually know who is hunting you down. So as you can see, the target is at the top right there, and someone else is targeting me, but I don't know who that is. So it kind of creates like a weird loop of like confusion for everybody in the server. And it's kind of like the sheriff, if you hit the wrong person, you don't die, your knife just like disappears. Only for a second though. Anyway, now on to the actual game. I tried going for this lady right here, but I can't really land a shot. I don't know how she didn't hit me in some of these throws, but luckily she didn't because I was actually her target and killed her. Oh yeah, and if you're their target, you can kill them. Here's a perfect example of that. I tried going for the stick bug guy, but I wasn't his target and he wasn't mine, so... My knife just disappeared, and now we were on the same team. We both tried going for this blue guy, and I was actually his target again. I don't know what I did to everybody. And then I see my actual target. I've said target a lot in this game. I missed, like, the easiest shots I had on him because he got stuck on the wall. And then this went on for a while of us just throwing knives. It felt kind of weird because I'm usually used to, like, fighting the sheriff as the murderer. Instead, I was just going against the murderer and then they got an insane shot on me i don't know how i still don't know how they hit this even after doing the voiceover back in normal murder mystery i felt ready new server new people same map i'm here everyone was just chilling out on the second floor until some guy started stabbing everybody which is you know expected if there's a big group of people he tried throwing his splinter knife at me but missed horribly everyone was dying while i was behind this wall and he ended up coming over here Dude, I don't know how he didn't see me there. Ah! I'm not sure what I was doing during game 52, but I died. Game 53 started and the guy with the splinter knife was back. I dodged his throw like my taxes and for some reason he had like a grudge against this bacon hair. He left me and this guy alone on the roof for some reason. And then when he killed the bacon hair, he came back at us and tried throwing the knife. And I don't know how this hit. How did this hit? Yay, innocent again. I was feeling pretty generous today. I wanted to play this game different. So I figured I would go into this garage and sit there the whole game. The reason I said I would feel generous is because this room is pretty underappreciated. It's usually overshadowed by the Lamborghini in house two. But anyway, I figured I would stay in there the whole game and that's what I did. So we start off with everybody walking over to the other side of the mansion. And then out of nowhere, I see this. Yeah, did you, did, did you just think did, 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 did no one saw him? It thinks no one saw him. I saw him. Murderer was killing people. He was basically killing everybody at this point. And during this, I realized that I had a pretty good chance of survival because the murderer was so focused on everybody else that he wasn't going to go look for people who are hiding. There he was right there throwing knives, being a pretty badass. He's being a cool kid. He's like the, what's his name? The basher. 
<laughs> and then I see the sheriff, and I think they're about to fight each other. And I tried getting his attention, and I I'm glad I didn't, because watch this. I think they're about to fight, and they just don't do anything. And then when I notice they're teaming, I realize that I have to do this all over again. And they say 1v1 in chat, so they get rid of everybody else on the server, besides me. They don't think I'm still alive. And the 1v1 starts! It's here, we're ready! It, it didn't last very long at all. Game 55, I'm in a wall! Help. When I walk outside of my wall, I notice a green radiation body. And I think this is some pretty bad wrongdoing. And then I notice that this is about to happen to me. This whole game was just really dumb. The whole thing was just me following the sheriff, waiting for her to die. And then when I disconnect from the sheriff because I couldn't make it in time to the basement, for some reason, she follows me outside instead of the person that can kill her. I don't know why. I don't know what I did. But, you know, you're an idiot. What an idiot. You're an idiot. Game 56 starts off with me getting startled by the murderer from last round. And then we have a beach ball summer party. Woo! Woo! Yeah! And then our beach ball party was rudely interrupted by the murderer just straight up dying for some reason. Yes! Murderer! Finally! During this round, I wanted to play it safe and also find a perfect opportunity to just get everybody at once. So I got the ghost perk and went in the vents for a little while. I was stalking the area a little bit, trying to find the perfect area to get everybody at once. And I realized that that area would be the middle part of the map. So I went to the vent that connects to the middle area and you can't really see anything at all. So I went back in the vents for probably around like another 40 seconds. I waited until I found the perfect moment, and when I did, I just went insanely fast at them. I got the sheriff first, luckily, which I didn't even realize. And then I got these two guys right here. Someone got the gun, and watch these quick reflexes. Oh, boom! And dead! Now that everyone in the middle was dead, it was time to kill the outer losers. This person's dead. There you are. Come here. Yup, I'm, I'm ready. No, I, I'm not losing this. I can't lose this. Game 58, I was trying to host a pool party, but it was rudely interrupted by this emo bitch. Game 59 was probably the most annoyed I've ever been at a player. Giving backstory to this game, the small bacon hair girl was murderer, which had me kind of terrified because she killed me when I was murderer two games ago. So, for the whole game, I thought of a plan. What I was going to do is I was going to hide in this truck right here the entire time and wait for everybody to die. It was going well, you know. Uh, I'm playing a time lapse right now of it. I was probably in there for about a minute until some random girl who looks like she's wearing a fucking diaper comes out and opens the door for for no reason i end up getting back in but the bacon hair girl sees me and then while i'm watching everything the diaper girl ends up getting killed and then the small bacon hair opens the door and i die if she never opened the door she wouldn't have known i was in there f you f this game f everybody f f f f f f f game 60 i was sheriff which you know hip hip hooray nice right no wrong i don't know how but for some reason i already knew that this girl was the murderer so i tried shooting her and missed and i probably would have killed her but for some reason i just started lagging like fps wise i'm not trying to be like flight here with the hey guys i was actually lagging you can see it in the recording for those who are wondering if i won or not i'm just gonna play this and let you know yeah i'm I'm sick of murder mystery. Game 61, I'm an innocent. Yay. I witnessed this happy couple get brutally assassinated while I hid behind a wall and did nothing about it. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, watching this recording, I think this is the first time I've witnessed someone camp the gun the entire game. Don't go there, man. Don't, don't, you're gonna die. Oh man, come on, please. No, 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 no. <laughs> Shut up. Now, I knew not to go over there, obviously, because anytime someone did, they just burst into green luckily though i didn't have to the entire time because some girl randomly got the gun and won us the game Hooray! i don't even know what happened game 62 game 63 was just as bad it took the murderer three whole minutes to start stabbing people and when they did i ended up getting the gun and before i could even barely make a shot the game just ended why do people just wait so long it, like, when you're murder- I don't get- I, da, 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 uh, ah! Also, heads up, I don't want to clickbait it, so I'm not going to redo the games, but the 60s were so bad, I'm- I'm sorry, but they were- they were horrible. Besides this game, this is the only exception. Now, I wanted to get my revenge as quick as possible, so I got the haste perk ready, and I found the girl. No, no, it's- him, it's him, it's him! He's such a targeter! He's such a targeter! He's such a targeter! He's- Guys, help! Guys, help! Anyone? Guys, 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 God damn it. Knowing now that I was probably going to get hunted by the entire server, I camped at this little door area right here. And I would soon realize that I actually was being hunted because the girl was leading the sheriff over towards me. But luckily, I am patient enough and I waited. I don't know where the sheriff went, but he ended up leaving the girl and, um... 
Following up to that, I did end up finding the sheriff. He was outside. I swerved around, and with the haste perk, luckily I was able to kill him pretty easily. And then I killed this young old lady trying to run for her life. Um, it wasn't good enough, though. And then these guys were having their little beach ball summer party over here, and I, uh, sorry, I had to ruin it. It was for the greater good of me winning. To this day, I don't know where the last guy was. Um, at least I didn't die, though. Nothing happened the first 30 seconds of game 66 until I witnessed this. Hello. There's two people in there. What the hell? I was trying to follow the action the whole time in this game, but I couldn't really see anything besides this one body and the people having sex. Until I see the murderer just come out of the shower curtain. Apparently he was watching as well. He was trying to look for people, but he didn't realize I was, you know, right behind him. This is disgusting. This is nasty. I thought he didn't see me on the wall, but, you know, he did. I tried to dodge him to go and get the gun, but... You're so good at duking. <laughs> Game 68 escalated pretty fast after I just randomly heard the sheriff shooting outside. At first I was confused, but when I went outside, I see her getting chased down by a femboy, which I, it's understandable. I would try to shoot it too. And unironically, it actually was the murderer, but it didn't last very long. Game 69 was pretty, ah! Ah! Game 70, like most games, had nothing happen at the start until I heard a random stab, so I walked over to the sheriff just to make sure, that it, in case she stays alive, I, I want the gun. And then I realized that it was a bacon hare. So it was bacon boy versus bacon girl. Me and this guy with his campfire egg checked the vents to try to find him, but apparently bacon girl had done the job for us because she just obliterated him. The scene was very gruesome. I do not recommend playing this game. Game 71, my coworker turned on me, so we punished him by shooting him in the face. By the way, that game took three minutes, but nothing happened the entire time. Game 72, I thought I would reattempt the bathroom challenge. And that was probably one of my worst mistakes making this video because it was even worse than the first time. You know, I was doing pretty well at the start, then some rat came out of nowhere and stabbed me. Okay, I might have gotten it mixed up. I think the 70s are the ones where I die nonstop. Yep, they are. Sorry for this. In honor of game 75, I decided to play hardcore mode. Hardcore mode is pretty simple. It's an alternate version of murder mystery and we have different disguises like names, skins, and we're in first person. I instantly heard the murderer start stabbing and I see everyone running the other way. So I obviously knew where she was. The thing about hardcore, I don't really get why it's called hardcore. I feel like if they wanted the game to be like, oh, you don't know who anybody is, they should make everyone have like the exact same skin instead of suits. But I ended up finding the murderer and shooting him. And we win, we win, great job. Game 76 started off with me walking with this lady and then she just passed out for some reason. And then someone else passed out too. Not sure how, how is this happening? And then I found the actual murderer and I was cornered into a area and almost escaped, but I was killed. Game 77, I was sheriff, which is pretty cool. And literally everyone in the server was outside besides this girl. So I had my suspicions of her. I was thinking about shooting her. Thinking is a strong word because, you know, I, I actually did it. Luckily, my horrible aim paid off for once and I missed. I went up the red building and I saw what I thought was a dead body. So my suspicions grew more for her. And then when I get down, there's another dead body. So now I'm thinking it's either dude with the cap or the girl. All right, I guess I'll Damn it! Game 78, I wanted to try the vent only challenge. It's pretty simple, just stay in the vent the whole game. I began my challenge with just stalking everybody looking for the murderer. And then I see the bacon hair all the way in the back, just flailing his knife around. He wasn't stabbing anybody at first. I couldn't do anything but just watch everyone else die. It was a little sad, but you know, it's murder mystery. I don't... I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. I'm so tired of editing. I get the gun and I run back in the vent really fast. And now I'm just looking for him. I turn the corner and I just see him staring at me. But in this moment, I think I'm about to die. Every time I've done something like this, I always end up dying in this exact situation. But surprisingly, he walked away from me for some reason. I don't know why. I might have smelled bad. I couldn't find him for a while. I was shimmying my way so I could see both of the vents. And then I quickly went into the other side of the vent area. And I stalked the middle side and there he was found him and boom dead game 79 was so dumb i was sheriff which was nice but look at this so the murderer comes out swinging right away and i do this how is that not a hit and i'm dead too i died from it game 80 i was sheriff and it started off pretty weird there was a 
interesting dance party going on that I wasn't invited to for some reason. But it was quickly interrupted by some stabbings across the hallway. And I see none other than Vector from Despicable Me come out. And now I realized it was time to use my sheriff powers to hit absolutely nothing. I was in a tight quarter though, so I knew I had this game already. And watch these reflexes, ready? BANG! Game 81, I was murderer, and I knew I could not lose this game. I started off in the vents, and I felt like I was truly ready. All right, I'll go for you first. What? After that horrible excuse for a game, the universe decided to be more cruel and give me innocent. I was chilling on the balcony with this bacon dude, and then all of a sudden, he just comes out with the knife. I don't know how I survived that. And then, when I walk back, he's hiding, acting like he didn't do anything. Hey, guys! Guys! It's him! It's him! Uh, he must have gotten so scared that I was about to snitch on him that he just left the game. I spent the start of game 83 trolling the guy who killed me when I was murderer. It was going pretty well. He even pulled his gun out until someone got stabbed. And we spent a while looking for the murderer too. Where do you think they are? Man, I don't know. Oh, watch out! <laughs> <laughs> game 84, I'm a different skin, which is pretty cool. But the coolness didn't last very long because I was traumatized after seeing a girl get thrown down a sewer. Since I was the only person who witnessed it, I spent this whole game trying to notify the sheriff that this girl was the murderer. And I even did a little dance for the sheriff, but she didn't like it at all I was the only person who knew that this girl was the murderer and the sheriff was trying to run away from me Like I did something all I did was dance in front of her and then I followed her in this brown uh, House area and she just pulled out her knife and took it away and thought she was slick with it And when I turn around no one is right next to me I thought the sheriff was gonna be right there I was trying to point at her and luckily the sheriff finally insisted and we won the game Game 85, it was time for the bathroom only challenge. If you don't get what I'm doing, then you're an idiot because I've done many variations of this challenge the entire video and you're just a fat idiot. The game started off with me just sitting there until we obviously heard a stab because that's what happens every game. And then when everyone's trying to see who it is, some guy in a bacon hair shirt comes out of nowhere. And he fought and he goes into my bathroom. And I, I was terrified. I, I didn't know if he was the murderer or not. And I was I was scared, man. And then he just walks out. And it turns out he actually was the murderer. He just, for some reason, only went for a specific amount of people. I don't know why, but I'll, I'll take it as a win. Finally, murderer! I was playing this round completely safe because I actually wanted to win. So I got the ninja perk and the ghost effect. Right away, I killed some girl in the basement and I had to make sure no one saw. So I would, this is why I was looking back and forth. And then I was pretty much camping on the wall trying to see anybody. This girl obviously noticed me and she jumped on my head, which didn't seem too nice. So I tried making a throw and it... Um, so by this point, if I were to go down that hallway, I will probably die. So I end up trying to go through the basement and just camping out there for a second. And then these two women come in, I kill them. Or I kill one, sorry. Murder mystery, please fix your hitboxes. What is this? I don't know how this girl survived, but I end up playing the waiting game, which was actually kind of smart, and I hit a pretty clean throw. It's kind of funny, because from her point of view, it looks like I was trying to, like, let her escape, and then just hitting her with a throwing kill. And then I kill this girl messing with the furniture, you know, that's not allowed here. And then I kill these two people outside, and I win! You know, it felt kind of nice winning again. I think it's been, like, 30 games since I won a murder round. Game 87 was pretty uneventful, just a flying body and us winning. No. Not that big of a deal. Game 88, I got Sheriff, which I was pretty excited for, and then my screen went black five seconds in. That's it. You right here. Oh, yeah, I'm murderer. I snuck away from the body with the ghost perk, and I quickly parkoured up an elevator, which was actually pretty smooth. They didn't see me, even though they were startled. I saw the murderer coming up the stairs, and I thought this would be a good idea to quickly use the ghost perk, which is what I did, and it worked pretty well. And then I spent like a minute trying to kill this girl with ginger hair, which you know are the worst. I like, I really tried. I ended up killing her, and then I killed the other sheriff, and then I spent two minutes trying to find the last guy, which I could not do. But I'll count it as a win, since I did not die. Game 90 was a never-ending disaster. The sheriff and the murderer were fighting each other until the last second, and nobody won. Game 91 is gone. It's also corrupted. Game 92 was going well until I witnessed murder for the 90 seconds time. I was being chased down by a girl with a love knife, which I didn't really want because she could have been five, and unlike Minecraft YouTubers, I'm not into that stuff. The sheriff was dead, and by this point, it was just an everlasting loop against the murderer. The murderer was very close to killing me at times, so close, in fact, that I got scared in real life. As you can see, look at this, my mouse, like, flings me when the emote thing's open. I just kept going around and around the house until everyone had died, and I ended up getting the gun, but I... Ugh. Ah! Yep, that is the whole game. Game 94, I was... What the... Uh...
All right. By this point, I was very tired of Murder Mystery 2. I'm not going to lie. So game 94, I decided to take a step back and just instead of going to the action, just watch things. Everybody was in like one little circle. It was kind of cool, actually, until we found a traitor. I heard a stab and then I walked back to the hallway and I see a bacon hair dead on the floor. And I see another bacon just... Oh my gosh! By now, I obviously know that it's the girl. So I go over to try to notify everyone and I just get shot. That's just more proof of this video. Game 96 was an AFK murderer, and then she died. Yo, I'm sorry, I can't, I'm so out of it right now. I can't talk about all of game 97, so I'm just gonna show you the outcome of it. Come on, you have to be the murderer. <laughs> Damn it. Game 99, home stretch. I've done so much on this video. My computer's lagging. I'm tired as hell. And the murderer was chasing after this guy and threw him off a balcony. How nice. And then as I was being chased down, the sheriff got shot. Game 100, we're finally here. Oh my gosh, it's over. Post-game interview, I'm so tired. I want to go to bed. I I'm so glad it's over, dude. I I've been editing for the last three days, non-stop. That's literally all I've been doing. In the middle of it, I've taken like 30 minute breaks, but I haven't stopped. I'm so tired, I'm done recording. Um, you guys might not think that was a lot, but it took, that. that's the biggest video I've ever edited. And I'm, I'm so glad it's over. Look at my hair, dude, I, I'm just gonna keep it real with you. I haven't showered in three days. That's, that's how much, that's how much I've been doing this. Luckily, it's the summer though, so I don't have to go out anywhere right now. Yeah, that um, that really took a toll on me, I'm not gonna lie. The reason um, I had to finish this in three days and I didn't spend two weeks on it is because I'm leaving for vacation tomorrow, early in the morning. So I, I don't know why I decided last minute to do this, but if you put up with the 90s games, uh, I thank you for that, because that is when I really, like, lost it. I started, like, skipping ahead and stuff like that, if you notice it. But if you're here, thank you so much for watching. Comment comment down your favorite, your favorite game. Uh, my favorite game was 41. I really liked that one. Uh, I'm not gonna explain it. I'm too tired to. Like, I'm not even cursing, just so I don't have to bleep it out and add any extra edits. But yeah, thank you. Um, I'm going to bed.